Okay, here's suggest number five. Oh, let's see. I just shade in all the new parts, and then I can see how many is being added each time. So that's plus three, plus three. Plus three, plus three. So I'm adding three a whole bunch of times, multiple times. That's why it's multiplication. I'm going to start off with four. And then figure 200. I just plug the 200 in for the x. Three times 200 gives me 600 plus four. 604. Function notation. That just tells me to take the negative three, plug it in for the x. For the x. Watch the negative. Always put parentheses around your x. Throw in the negative threes. Negative three squared is nine, but it's negative because of this negative outside. Negative nine. Negative times the negative gives me a positive. Minus two, minus two. Just add them together, get one. So now y equals two times the x plus three. So I plug in the zero. Zero times two plus three, three. Plug in the one. One times two plus three, five, two, two times two plus three, and, and so forth. Plot each point, zero, three, zero, three, one, five, two, seven, negative one, one, negative one, one. Just plot all those points, draw the line, put an arrow on it. it. This is the one that gets most people. Remember, a parabola is symmetrical but not necessarily in the on the y axis. Okay, this one happens to be where x is equal to negative one. So I just did the same thing. Y equals the x squared plus two times the x minus three. Plug in the zero. Zero squared is zero. Plus two times zero, zero, minus three, negative three. Plug in my one. One plus two minus three zero. We get negative one. Positive negative times a negative is a positive. This becomes negative now. Two times negative one negative two. So that gives me negative four. And then I just plot points. Two five. One zero. Zero negative three negative one, negative four, negative two is negative three. Once I see the vertex, I know they just match up. So this point and this point will be the same. This point and this point will be the same. Draw my curve. And here we're graphing a line using um, the slope and the y-intercept. Before I was just checking to see if you knew how to plot points. Now I'm checking to see if you know what the slope and the y-intercept is. So my y-intercept's at 0, negative 5. It's a point, so you have to write it as a point. Slope is 4 thirds. So I put a dot at 0, negative 5, and I go up 4, over 3. Up 4, over 3. Rise over the run. Or I can go down 4, but I have to go back 3. So that's a negative and a negative. What is a negative divided by a negative? It's a positive. On this line, there's my y-intercept, 0, 6, and then my slope is negative 2. You can say negative 2 over 1 if you want. I usually don't, but you can. So I went, start off at um, 0, 6, I went down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, or I could go up 2, but then I have to go negative. Positive over a negative is still negative. Negative over a positive is still negative. That's how I add this line. Well, you can see the y-intercepts at 0, negative 3, so that's why this is a negative 3. Goes down 1, over 4. Down 1, over 4. So it's a 1 and a 4. So rise over the run, rise over the run. It's going downhill from left to right, so that means it's a negative slope. On this one, I have to find good points, nice points. It goes through these lattice points. So it goes up 3, over 2, 3, over 2. Rise is 3, 
runs over 2. And then the y-intercept is at 0, 2. And that was test 5.